this isn't gonna be pretty. So I'm recording this the day before the all-star game slam dunk three-point contest all-in-one and I don't have high hopes for it whatsoever. The NBA all-star weekend which is obviously just a day now started off completely on the wrong foot. In the midst of a viral crisis the league went ahead and hastily put together an all-star event to appease the TV network that is TNT. Well sure I mean it is the all-star weekend and that's pretty cool and all that but it uh didn't rub so great with the players. I have zero energy and zero excitement about an all-star game this year. Right now, I don't care about the all-star game. Just putting, putting money over health right now. But hey, the NBA didn't care because if it's millions versus billions, of course billions is gonna win. But to put the cherry on top of this money-flavored ice cream, the NBA decides to add the biggest event in NBA history. The NBA slam dunk. Why'd you stop, bro? Uh, uh, come on, bro, don't do this. Um, you know what, bro? The, 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 you know the, the, the NBA slam. Bro, bro, slam, you know slam, who I am. Slam, Stop playing with me. Hey, who is this? <laughs> Alright, so we know that the dunk contest hasn't been hitting the same since 2016, but the 2021 is looking to be. Yikes. In the spirit, I suppose, of a majority of the players in the National Basketball Association, people just didn't want to come. So while the NBA dunk contest has definitely had some. Uh, this just takes it to a whole nother level. First off, we have Afrini Simons, a guard for the Portland Trailblazers that I only remember for being drafted at like 18 or 19 years old. And in the articles that I found talking about the dunk contest, there was one of them that said that the main asset that Simons had for the dunk contest was being teammates with Dame and Derek Jones Jr. In what world is in a dunking contest your best weapons are your teammates? That doesn't even make sense. And for contestant number two, we have Obi Toppin, the New York Knicks rookie who is most famous for his reaction for being drafted to the New York Knicks. But after that, he's only averaging some five points a game and has not been a breakout rookie like we've seen LaMelo or Ant or any of the other guys like those. And last, we have Cassius Stanley, the first two-way player in NBA history to participate in All-Star Weekend. Yeah, what I mean by that, he's basically a G League player that is participating in the slam dunk contest. He hasn't even played 24 minutes in the actual NBA. While he's a developing prospect, sure, you can see how far the NBA had to scrape the barrel in order to get to the contestants that they have here. But with all that being said, they are some amazing dunkers. I didn't really believe that Obi Toppin was a force like that, but in college, he was actually a really great dunker. And as for Afrini Simons as well, I had no clue he had registered a 44 inch vertical. And he's got some pretty impressive jumps as well. And Cassius Stanley at Duke, I didn't really follow college basketball. He had some pretty great dunks there as well. But at the same time, all of these players that are in the NBA slam dunk contest have never performed amazing dunks in an NBA game. They were all selected off of dunks that they either did in college or, or the G League or whatever else. Which uh, is concerning because how do you build hype for that? While the contestants have all said that it's an honor to participate in the slam dunk contest, I feel like the league is doing them dirty. Never before I think that I've seen such a big event whittled down to a halftime performance. That's right, they're performing the NBA slam dunk contest at halftime. What does that even mean? Not only that, but the contestants were notified eight days before the contest actually began. At the end of February, they're told out of the blue, hey, you're participating in the all-star dunk contest. Have something ready. For example, when Afrini Simons was notified that he was in the slam dunk contest, the next four days were filled with three games for him, leaving him just four days to prepare for the contest. While they say that they've got original dunks up their sleeves and whatnot, how are you going to practice slam dunk contest dunks within less than a week? The NBA did them dirty in that department. But not only do I think that there's any hype leading up to it, but I don't think that there's gonna be hype during it either. I mean, you guys have seen for yourselves how bad no crowds affect highlight plays. Like for example, let's take Larry Nance's dunk over Kevin Durant in 2017 versus Anthony Edwards' dunk on Wuta Watanube. It's actually Wuta Watanube, my fault. In the middle, bounce, Larry Nance! Look at Larry Nance! Throw that baby down! Ooh, they were lucky that wasn't turned over. Anthony Edwards! That time, he does finish! You just can't compare. And the same thing goes for the slam dunk contest. So these contestants that no one really knows about are performing at the halftime of the All-Star game in front of no crowd in a format that's been dying out since 2016 and are supposed to try and inform without any big names. Like the fact that the NBA was only able to get three participants and one basically in the G League, that tells you that they were really wishing for more. But the one out of the three players that could have potentially saved this, Don Williams and Zach Levine who were disqualified because of the All-Star game, was Aaron Gordon. And of course, 
he's not coming back. Nah, it's a wrap, bro. It's a wrap. Um, I feel like I, I should have two trophies. Yeah, I feel sorry for these contestants because they're probably going to be the harbingers of the worst slam dunk contest of all time. I hope it's not so, but uh, they've got the odds stacked against them. The circumstances surrounding this dunk contest are the worst ever. I wouldn't be surprised at all if this carries on to the actual contest. If you're watching this, it's probably already done and everything. Was I right or wrong? Let me know. Probably wrong. Hopefully I'm wrong. But no matter what happens, this year is going to be the year that the NBA Slam Dunk Contest goes from the most hyped event in all of the All-Star festivities to a glorified halftime performance. Sheesh. Thanks for watching.